Hi, welcome back to Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about how to credit a game. Well now we all know that you guys know what this is, this is and how to use it. We've put in plenty of quarters over the years in, our, in plenty of games. And But you may not know is that you don't necessarily need one of these to coin up a game. You can use your finger or we can go into the settings. And those are a couple things that we're going to show you today so that you can play your game. The first thing we're going to do is open up the coin door and as you can see inside of here is the two coin mechanism. You might remember this from our video on adjusting a coin mech. These have already been adjusted to take a quarter. So all we do is drop a coin in and it falls through the mech and then it trips the wire on this switch right here. And of course that is connected by these connectors here that go back to your, your main board. But once that wire is tripped, it gives us a credit. And so, very simple, you just drop a coin in, it goes through the mech, trips the wire. As you can see, the amount of credits have went up. Now what you may not know is you don't necessarily need a quarter to do this. In fact, I'm, we're going to show by using the finger on how to do this. As you can see, we can coin this up every time with our finger. Now you might notice there's two, diff there's two different switches here. This one does not have a cover, this one does. Now if your game has a cover, you can get up under there, but as you can see I'm kind of reaching my finger under there, and it's a little bit more difficult. So if you want to, just remove that cover. These plastic covers uh, will just pop right off, and then you'll have it where it's a little more open and you can easily do it like that. Now you can do this every time you want to play your game. You can coin it up by your finger. The problem that you can see is that the door is wide open. And let's say you have some guests, maybe some guests with little kids and so forth. Do you really want them sticking their hand all up inside of your game? Well, probably not. So one way that we're going to get around that is we're going to install a free play button. Now this is just a normal push button like you would see up here that we would fight with or so forth. And it uh, looks like that has a switch on the bottom. Remember all this really is is a switch that as it's being triggered is making continuity and therefore telling the game I need you to do something. So what we can do then is we can install this button. We can take the two wires that are hooked up currently to the switch. It's nice when they're on quick disconnects like this um, that you can take this off. Sometimes they may be soldered on you'd have to desolder that. But uh, we talked about switches before. You can go back and watch a video on that if you're not real familiar. But you have what's a common and a normally open and normally closed. So we're going to wire it up to the common here and the normally open. And then every time that I push this button now, we'll get a credit. See, it's 40, we got 48 credits right now, 50, 52, you know, it's given a credit every time that we hit this button. So that makes it pretty simple. All that we really need to do is drill a hole and mount this button, or you, if you have an extra button up on top of your control panel, you could run those wires up to it, and every time you hit it, or it doesn't necessarily have to be a push button like this, you can get a smaller switch from Radio Shack with a couple pins or something. Uh, my father-in-law likes to call them a sneaky switch where it not, would be a little less, less visible to everybody else. So whatever your preference is there, but that would give you an option to where you don't have to have the coin door. We can have the button mounted here or wherever we choose to. Even on the side of the game, I've seen guys do that before. And then every time that you push that button, would essentially do what flipping the switch does. So flipping the switch, pushing the button would be the same thing. Now most games, especially those that were one time on route, will have a service credit button. And if you're not familiar with that, when you open up your game, just like this one, you'll see some buttons in there. Most of the time they're labeled, and if it says service, all you have to do is push this button and you'll get a credit. <laughs> What's neat about that, this game, it says service, and what that does is it doesn't roll your coin counter, but it does allow you to test or to play the game. Of course, for home use, if you just reach up in there and push the button, you're going to get a credit. 
and that would allow you, you could, I could add several credits right now and then play several games without having to open and shut my door. So that's nice. Uh, but one of the main things that you would want to do, especially for a home use, is to put it on free play if it's an option. And generally there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, you're going to need, if there's some buttons in there, especially it says test or so forth, this one's a red button here. We're going to go into the menu system. And then once we're in the menu system, we're going to go down to coin options. And as we go in there, see if one of them says free play, we're going to change that. Let's see, player one start. Okay, I change it to right, then I hit it, save it, and there we're we're out. Player one start exits. Uh, all menu systems are a little bit different, but most of them it was I was actually uh, reading the instructions as I was going. It said player one to exit and so forth. So your game's gonna probably not every game's gonna be just like this one. But most of you just get in there and play around a little bit. You'll figure it out. Also, you can change things like number of lives, stuff like that, wherever you find that kind of options. If it has it, by all means, then once you put it on free play, you don't ever have to coin it up again, and that's a great option. But some people like, the, there's a lot of games that don't have a free play button or a free play setting, therefore we showed how to do the button anyway. Hope this helps you out some today. Now keep in mind, if you've got an older game, you might not have the nice menu system and so, and so forth, like for instance this Galaga board that I have in hand. And uh, you might refer back to our video that we shot on dip switches, but this one you would actually change some of the hard dip switches right up here. So all you would do would be to turn your game off and move these over into whatever. Now you need to consult your manual to see whether it is a menu system or it's a dip switch setting or if it's, you're even able to put it on free play at all. Therefore, you might have to install a switch. Of course, this uh, or going into the menu system is always going to be your easiest way. But again, whatever your preference is, some, choice, some games you just don't have a choice though. Uh, but they all can be set on free play as we have shown. So we hope that that helps you today. We really appreciate you watching Arcade Repair Tips video series. Remember when you fix the game, you play the game.